So I'm going to start by creating a basic function and then I'm going to walk you through the details of it. I'm going to call it add numbers and I'm going to say it's a function and it's going to have two arguments x and y and then I'm going to open up a little curly brackets uh, and I'm going to say x plus y and that's my function. Right, boom shakalaka, I've created a function. Let me show you how it works. I can simply say add numbers and I can put in a five and a six and push control enter and boom shakalaka, I've got 11. I'm gonna talk you through this very basic example and then we're gonna get into the slightly more complicated stuff, but none of it is difficult, let's keep going. Now in the first instance, your function has to have a name. It can be anything you like and I've called it add numbers and I'm assigning to that uh, a function and so I use the word function to say I'm creating a function and the first thing that we have is inside the parenthesis what the arguments will be in other words when a person calls the function whenever you call use a function in R you open up brackets and you put in some arguments in this case they're going to be numbers and I'm saying that they're going to be x and y they could be anything you can call them whatever you want you close brackets thereafter you've got these curly brackets which open and close so they open over here they close over here and in between them you tell R what to do with those arguments and then when you then basically it creates that function and when I then use that function okay I open up brackets I put in the arguments close the brackets run the function and it then and it takes the operations that I've described between the curly brackets. Okay, reasonably straightforward, nothing too complicated, but let's look at some of the more exciting things that you can do with functions. Uh, stick with me. <laughs> Boom shakalaka. Now to get into the nuts and bolts of creating functions in R, I've created this web page and I'm going to at the end of the video tell you how you can access this web page for free and you can look at everything that's on it and it's quite nice. It's got some explanatory notes but here's where it's useful. is because I've got the code and the outputs of the code and I've kind of built it up in terms of just steps. So we've got sort of the basic function, default parameters, uh, flexible arguments, data processing, and conditional logics. None of this is difficult. All of it is simple. I'm going to walk you through all of this right now. So the first example is the one that we did in our studio, adding numbers, boom shakalaka, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's keep going. Oh, and by the way, if you go to this web page and you hover over any of the numbers on the right-hand side, uh, these are annotations that will describe what's happening in the code at that point. The next thing that I want you to learn is when you create your arguments for your function, in this case x and y, you could put in a default value, right? So let's just talk through the function that I've created over here. The function is called hello. What the function is gonna do is it's gonna paste together some text. It's gonna...